We begin tonight with breaking news involving this story. A little more than an hour ago, police identified the suspect as 25 year old Jonathan Atland. He was arrested and taken to the hospital. Atland will now be facing a very long list of charges, including murder, aggravated assault and auto theft. This started with a lengthy police chase that stretched through several cities in the East Valley. Yeah, the Gilbert police officer Rico Aranda is still in the hospital tonight, listed in critical condition. Here's what we know so far. This all began in Eloy at around 1030 when a Pinal County Sheriff's deputy attempted to pull somebody over for speeding along State Route 87. The driver reportedly pulled out a gun, started shooting at the deputy and then took off towards the Chandler Municipal Airport. And that is where he crashed right through a gate, drove out onto the runway. The suspect then went the wrong way on the Loop 202 and crashed near Val Vista Drive. He then ran into the Santan Ford dealership where police say he stole a car, drove off running over two officers. A witness was driving on the Loop 202 and is sharing that video and his reaction with Arizona's family. Officer Farrar spent much of his time volunteering at a church in Chandler. That's where Whitney Clark is tonight. Whitney. Well, I'm told that Officer Farrar was a regular here for at least the uh, past five years at Campus Christian Church in Chandler. He was not just a member of the church, but also he was a volunteer member of the security team as well, making sure that everyone who came to church was safe. And he's definitely left a lasting impression in this Chandler community. And Peter Miel saw this picture of Officer Christopher Farrar today for the first time, but his friendship and this familiar face went forever seared into his memory. Well, that, that smile. His smile, always in the front row, singing during worship. I mean, he's big and he's got those hands high in the air and uh, it's just a joy to see. Miel has been with Compass Christian Church for more than 20 years and got a text around three this morning. He's a friend, you know, and I see him all the time. And uh, it was really hard to hear news like that because, I mean, we always know that when a police officer goes out in the field, this is potentially what could happen, but you never plan on it. Taking care of people is just what Officer Farrar did. Miel says it was a calling. He checked up on people. You know, that was some of the things he did. He just wanted to make sure everybody was okay. Chong Tai may help you. Just a few miles away at Chong Tai Fu, owner May Rowden set up a memorial where Officer Farrar likely had his last meal. I came into work this morning. I wasn't going to do it. And then I keep staring at that table and I keep seeing him, you know, in a conversation we had. On Thursday night, they laughed, joked. He had soup with his partner. Then Rowden says a good Samaritan paid for the officer's meal. It happened to be the first time she asked for his name. Every time he comes in, doesn't matter how hard of a day it was, he still smiled. <laughs> Miel also remembers him fondly. Well, he's taller than me. <laughs> He'd like to make that clear to me, too. <laughs> At the church, they're planning a candlelight vigil for Officer Farrar this weekend. We pride ourselves in being a community. <laughs> Communities come together when we hurt. And we know that we hurt right now. And we want to take care of our community. Taking care of the community, just like their friend would do. Again, just really being that source of healing and comfort is so important for the church. That candlelight vigil is going to be tomorrow night, Saturday at 7 p.m. And the public is invited to join. Live in Chandler for Arizona's family, I'm Whitney Clark.